So, you found the perfect sandy patch to drop anchor. You lower the anchor and dive into the water to check on it. All looks good. It may be that we need to reverse on it a bit to bed the anchor in a bit deeper. Other than that, these conditions are great. But what happens when you only see patches of sand amongst coral heads, also known as bommies? The most important thing is not to drop your anchor on them or let your chain drag over them when the boat swings. The damage that this can do can take years to regrow. There's also a big risk of catching your chain under the edge of a coral head or bommie. If this happens, you can snap your chain, leaving you, your yacht and the reef in risk of major damage. The solution to this is to float your anchor chain. To do this, you need to prepare three or more fenders or fishing floats with about one meter of rope and a clip on the end, which you can easily attach to and remove from the anchor chain when required. It is important that you can remove these quickly so we don't tend to use shackles. If you don't have fenders for this purpose, you will find plenty of fishing floats on the outer reef of the Tuamotus. There are so many there that apparently they grow on trees. How many fenders depends on a number of things such as the amount of chain being deployed, thickness of the chain and the size of the fender or float. So you need to work through this process in advance in a sandy patch to see how many floats you will typically need and what the spacing should be. Too few floats and the fender will sink to the bottom with the chain. Remember that if the chain loads up there is a chance that the floats may submerge. Also, make sure that nobody tries to pick up one of your floats thinking that it is a mooring. Take care and protect the coral and marine life for others to enjoy.